Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marcus with Epic Life Gaming. Thank you guys for coming back for another video. It is Thursday and it's not normally base reviews today, but I've been really busy the past few days. That's why I've not uploaded. As you guys can see, I got a new background. Um, I had to move my office because of the little baby that's on the way. Been having a lot of problems, so uh, I hope to get back on a regular uploading schedule, but there's a lot of chaos going on in my life right now. So I'm trying to get it all organized while still uploading videos for you guys. So please keep it smashing that like button. I appreciate it. It shows your support. And let's get into the base reviews. So, Black Hero. We're going to review his Town Hall 8 farming base. So as we look around the base, he has his clan castle right in the center, which is perfect. Good job on that. You also have your Barbarian King in the middle, which I really like that. Um, uh, that's something that I really like and enjoy with my bases now that they have that territory area where they cannot leave. So that's a good spot for that. Obviously, you're going to have your Dark Elixir on the inside because everybody wants to keep their Dark Elixir. And you got a Wizard Tower on the inside. Now, that isn't a bad thing because it's guarding three storages, and all three storages are in different compartments. So good job on that. You also have... Uh, your other wizard right there guarding those two storages, the same with that one over there. And each storage is in its own different compartment. So that is perfect for a farming base. That's a new style that I see nowadays. Um, instead of having them all dead center um, where they all are in one big compartment but they're in the center of the base. I don't think that's just as effective anymore than it used to be or maybe just not as good of a uh, idea as it once was. So now having them each in different compartments I think is the key. Now with the fourth mortar for Town Hall 8, he can cover so much more of his base. So good job on that. And all these levels seem to be pretty darn good. Obviously you can upgrade these wizard towers a few more levels. Um, but that's not too bad. I see that you got your air defenses level 4, level 5, level 5. So good job on that. And I really like the placements of these also. They're uh, towards the inside of the base. Um, and they're spread out so that no defense, air defense can get to them or, you know, ground troops can get to them all in a conjunction area. They're spread out in good spots, more towards the center of the base, so I like that. So as we move along, we see that you got your archer towers and cannons spread about nicely. Good job on that. All in different kind of compartments too, so that's good. Really don't know where your Tesla towers are. Maybe right there, right there right there or maybe up here he obviously got some traps in there too I really like this setup normally I don't like when uh, spare walls are being used but I do like this because this makes it so they cannot get after the air defense as easily as if there was no uh, you know sectioned out walls there so good job on that you also have all your defenseless buildings tucked up next to your walls I really like that as you guys all know I've seen in my previous videos why I like that overall I think this is a great base you obviously have been upgrading your cannons and your archer towers a little bit but uh, some of them not all of them but definitely start focusing on your wizard towers those are the ones that are um, the least upgraded and uh, those are very important troops your farming base so um, you want to be protecting your storages as much as possible and having Better wizard towers will do that for you. So great job on this base. I really like it. There's a lot of different sections. In order to get to the center of the base, you got to go through three walls on almost all sides. Everything spread about really well. Um, I really like that. So good job on that. What I would rate this base is a... I'll rate it 9.5 out of 10. And now why I rate it a 9.5 out of 10 is only the downside is the wizard towers being um, under leveled. I think those have two more levels to go um, to be maxed. And I see that you're upgrading a few of your cannons. So you're kind of doing the wrong way of upgrading your defenses. Focus on the big powerful uh, defenses first, your splash damages first, then focus on your single targets. Overall though, Absolutely great base. Great job, Black Carol, and thank you for letting me review your base.
The next base is Blitzkrieg. Um, he has a Town Hall 6. Just got to Town Hall 6. Told me he was upgrading it when he submitted his base review. So he was a Town Hall 5. So we'll kind of review it off of Town Hall 5. Um, as you guys can see, he just got his level uh, 1 mortar. Upgrading it to level 2 now. So not a lot he can do. But he's doing a good job though. Despite um, not having a lot of defenses on his base. I mean he has level 5 walls. Um, which is awesome. Good job on that. He has level 6, level 6, level 2, level 1. He just got that other wizard tower, um, level 3. So he maxed out his entire base before he even went to town all 6. So kudos to you. Um, but I believe you can build some more walls. Um, I'm not quite sure though, but uh, I can't count the amount of walls. But maybe you got a few more walls. If not, um, this is a pretty good setup. Um, that you can do although I really don't like that the clan castle is so far out there but there's not much you can really do so I don't mind having the air defense right on the inside um, you have each mortar on each side but they're easily exposed that's a problem um, but there's not much you can do with this design what I would tell you to do is maybe get a different design I don't really enjoy the this design too much um, but maybe it works for you. You have your wizard tower guarding this storage and this one guarding this storage. Um, with this base, I would try to find a way to be able to guard both of your storages. So two storages each with both your wizard towers. Um, so that way they can guard and become a little bit better farming base. No matter what, you're not going to be a defensive base at Town Hall 6 or at Town Hall 5 or maybe six because you're just trying to get loot you're not too worried about your trophies because everybody has a lot of loot um, when you're low town hall level but overall this is a pretty good base I like that your uh, defensive or your defenseless buildings are tucked up next to your wall good job on that you were destroyed so I can't see some of your things but it looks like everything's pretty much uh, good, well upgraded for your town hall five base um, but uh, overall, I think this is a pretty good base. If anything, I would tell you to get a different design for a Town Hall 6. Um, definitely check out my uh, base setups. Um, definitely, I got a lot of different uh, Town Hall 6 defensive or farming bases for Town Hall 6. So check those out, Blitz. Uh, maybe those will be able to help you out. I'd probably rate this base, though, an 8 out of 10. <laughs> And the reason why I would rate it an 8 out of 10 and not anything higher or anything lower, um, I, I, you obviously have a good understanding of the game. I don't know if you're, this is your first base on Clash of Clans or maybe this is your second base, but you have a pretty good understanding, I feel like. And, uh, but I can't give it too high of a grade because I really don't like the layout of this style of a base. I just don't think it does a very good job of defending, um, your base. I think the mortars can be easily taken out, and that's pretty much half of your, or probably a, you know, a third of your base is your mortars at this town hall level. So keep it going, Blitz. It's still a great base. Awesome job, and thank you for letting me review your base. So the last base is numbers, and you better be thankful. No, I'm just joking. But you didn't put your flag design or anything, and, your, uh, and you didn't put your hashtag. So you're lucky I uh, kind of went through and uh, checked out all your all the clans with the same name, with anti Nephi Leia. You wouldn't think there would be more than one, but there is. All right, numbers. So it took me so long to find this base. Not really. It only took me probably less than a minute to find it. But uh, <clears throat> I, I'm just I'm just playing. I'm not really mad or anything at all. But it would help me out though if you put your hashtag or flag design. If you do not know your hashtag. <clears throat> All right. So he has a Town Hall 7 farming base. So we stuck with the theme of farming bases. Got a different range of Town Halls. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It didn't uh, work out to where every base was like the same Town Hall level. But it did work out to they're all farming bases. <clears throat> so he has his clan castle in the middle. Level 3. So that's maxed out. Obviously just won a clan war. Or just hasn't collected in a while. You have your three mortars all around the base in a triangle. Good job on that. Not many spots that you can be uh, attacked from. <clears throat> and the mortar can hit troops before they even get inside the base. I really like that. Um, you do have your air defenses at the top and the bottom. I really um, 
I don't like that because of how easily exposed they are, but maybe it's not too bad because the troops will go after these walls instead of this wall, but still, I mean, it's in the first three defenses that will be taken out. You definitely don't want that. But maybe there's another Tesla tower right there, which might, might help that out a little bit. You got your wizard tower right over here guarding those two storages and this one guarding these two storages. Um, so this one's kind of on its lonesome, not being defended, feeling a little unloved by uh, by uh. So, but you do have your wizard towers and uh, or wizard towers, your archer towers and cannons spread about good different sections. I really like this base a lot. This is not a bad base, um, even though it takes you know. Uh, well, I guess it's three to get to the center, but they're not trying to get to the center. But I like it because if you attack from this side, you're going to have to use a lot of troops to get after these two storages. And then you'd have to come over here and do the same thing on this side. So it does help a lot by spreading out your um, storages. I don't like that these two are in the same one. So I definitely go after this side because not only does everybody love gold, they also love Dark Elixir. So I would definitely change that out. Um, I would possibly put it over here or put it in a whole different compartment altogether. Because um, those two in the same compartment is definitely not good. That's, you know, a keen eye will catch that and be like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going for that. Because it wouldn't be that hard to get into this space and take that loot. Granted, you probably wouldn't um, get much farther, but still. I mean, what do you have in there? 7,000 loot. They can grab like 20% depending on what level town hall. So that's a, that's a good amount of loot or whatever they can grab. Depends what town hall level you're at. But uh, I really appreciate that you have everything upgraded really well. Level 5 mortars. Excellent job. Level 5 air defenses. Level 4 wizard towers. Level 8 archers and cannons so you pretty much have everything maxed out on this base you need your barbarian king to be upgraded a little bit more and I'd love to see your barbarian king on the inside of your base that would be pretty cool um, if you could somehow fit them inside this uh, this base over here and I really like that you have your defenseless buildings tucked up next to your wall I'm really starting to see more people do that so thank you guys Maybe you guys are listening, maybe you're not, but I do like that. Um, and you have your town hall way on the outside, so you're not defending it. You're not wasting defenses to protect a town hall you're trying to get rid of. So I really like that. Don't know where your other Tesla tower is, but I'm guessing it's right over here to protect the air defense down here the same way you have it up there, but I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> but overall, I think this is a pretty darn good base. I really don't like that your cannon's on the outside that I would like to see on the inside along with this Barbarian King. If that means switching your base around, then so be it. Um, especially like stuff like this. This causes you to use way more walls than necessary, I believe. Um, you also have two extra walls right here, extra wall right there. Um, I just think you could do a better job um, at uh, utilizing your walls to get these defenses on the inside. If that um, is the only downside I can see, so I'd probably have to rate this base a 9.5 out of 10. And why I rated a 9.5 is because of these two defenses on the outside. I would like to see them on the inside. No point on keeping them on the outside. Um, you could definitely utilize these walls. Although everything is really well upgraded, everything is in its appropriate places. It seems good. So thank you, Numbers, for letting me review your base. If you want your base reviewed, stay tuned for Wednesday when I have you guys submit your base. Um, I picked three lucky people to be picked on the next Wednesday. Um, I put the last base review up a day late, so I thought I'd do these a day late. <clears throat> and I've been really busy. But thank you guys for all your support. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're still here supporting, watching all the true Epic Life Gaming subscribers go ahead and hit that like button if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button you're going to get daily videos fun content anything out with me thank you guys for everything you're doing for this channel hope you have a great day and don't forget to stay beautiful bye